Married people need single friends, and single friends need married friends. Hey, I'm Jake, and you're watching 1,000 Steps on Way Nation, where today we have 1,000 steps to talk about singleness. Betty Rock from The Wally Show is going to be joining me. She's just getting our orders at the coffee shop, and then we're going to... Hey, hey you here's ready? your card. Yeah, I'm ready. Did you, did you not get my coffee? Oh. You, uh, you used my, you asked me what I wanted. I thought you cared just about me. Do you know what we're doing? Uh, I think. Okay, we have a thousand steps to talk about. Singleness. Singleness. Yeah, and I got a single coffee, it kinda works. a single coffee, <laughs> okay. I wanna know, on a scale of being happy to wanting to run over every single person that's a couple on the sidewalk with your car, <laughs> where are you when it comes to Valentine's Day? Uh, Valentine's Day, to me, is absolutely the worst. Is it? Is it really? Well, yes, because to me, and I heard a lot of people say this, it's a marketing thing, sure. you know what I'm saying? But I do like, uh, my dad is always great about being my Valentine, like Aww. he'll send me a card, and sometimes it makes single jokes, but the great thing is, is I don't have to worry about my parents pressuring me to find someone. Yeah. They just are like, ah, it's just another day, you yeah. know, they don't worry about it too much. I saw a couple break up on Valentine's Day <gasps> once. That's the best. Yeah, isn't it? <laughs> That's it's the really best. good. Not that you wish ill will no. on somebody, but it's just like you're not why alone. Do they, yeah, like why yeah. do they have a celeb? Uh, like why do they have a holiday and we don't? Yeah. Um, um, on a more serious note, I turned thirty last year, and it was actually a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> um, I want to know what was it like turning thirty for you? Oh, uh, I think it might be different for women than it is for men. Okay. Just because for women you have this biological clock that's ticking. Mm. And so for guys, it doesn't really matter. It's just, uh, you know, I'll have children when I wanna have children, but for women, it's different. And so for me hitting 30, you know, everybody, the world tells you, if you don't have kids by the time you're 30, well, you're a spinster and something is wrong with you. So that was tough just trying to balance what the world tells me and balance that with what my faith tells me. I was uh, looking at a whole bunch of books the other night. Um, they were books written to single people on how to, you know, cope with our depressing, you know. Cope, good grief. Like, like, the single life isn't that bad. No. 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 And uh, it was funny because all these books had a common theme to them, which was they were all written by... Married people. Yes, and I just mm -hmm. think that, it, not that they can't have a say, like they were single ones, but yeah. I think that's so funny. And it made me think, like, there should be a book for married people written by single people. Yes. <laughs> At least what they should know about their single friends. Yeah, because it's almost like when they get married, this like, their eyes go blind to the fact that, hey, you spent like 20 something years single. Yeah. And you just forgot all about that. And yeah. now you look down on us in pity, <laughs> please. <laughs> and what, okay, so if you were to write that book, what would your yeah. first chapter be about? Um, I think the first chapter would be, uh, I'm, I'm worth getting to know on my own. Mm. Like, I feel like uh, sometimes, I don't know if you've had this experience, but especially when you're a single Christian, that's mm -hmm. a whole other ball game. Oh, yeah, for sure. Because you're going to church, and church is all about families and, and bringing up children. Well, we don't have that. Mm -hmm. And so um, I feel like when I step into a church door, it's like, okay, what's your name? And what's your relationship status? Oh, you don't have a guy? Okay, let me find you someone that's considered male and breathing. Hold on just a second. It's like, come on, get to know me. Yes. I, 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 I'm worth getting to know on my own. Because marriage isn't the end all, end all. Like you have your own life, you have your own goals and you're a complete person. Not everything has to be about getting married. No, You know, no. and I think just because some of our friends are married, they need to realize that maybe not all of us want to be married. Um, you mm. probably, do you, you want to be married? Yes. Yeah, uh -huh. I don't. And so it's so interesting because so many friends want to like set me up. And I, <laughs> after telling them, please, please stop. Please don't do it. Yeah. <laughs> but then I was talking to another friend and she's like, oh, I've had the exact opposite problem. Oh. None of my friends ever set oh, me up. Oh, she should take that personal. And, well, yeah. <laughs> if you knew her yet. Yeah. No, I'm kidding. Oh. I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> But no, I think that's interesting. I think um, married people need to know that every single person is different. You know, we're probably very different in our yeah. walks of life and yeah. what we want out of life. And so I think that that's something that married people need to know. Maybe that's chapter two. Okay, yes, that's true. Another thing that I think married people need to know is that 
married people need single friends and single friends need married friends. Mm -hmm. Like I think that we can learn from each other and I have friends who are married and I didn't even really think about this, but they told me one day, they're like, we've heard you complaining about how you hate always cooking by yourself. Mm. Like, I don't have a roommate, so mm. I have to do everything, you know, right. by myself. Yes. And they were like, so we've tried to make it, um, we've tried to invite you over for dinner. Like, we've intentionally done this because we know that, like, you need this. Oh. And that meant so much to me. And I think that if more people in the church would look out for single people knowing, like, Oh yeah, especially if you're going to be single forever. <laughs> and especially if, well, in my case, it's true. I don't mean that right, in a pessimistic uh, right, way. Right, right. Um, but watch out and help each other out a little bit. Like, I think that's great. Just like married people need babysitters, you know, like that's they need someone to true. watch the kids. We also need help with other things. And I think that's a beautiful way for the church to come together and be the body of Christ and help each other out, like that's what it's all about. Yeah, and I think a big thing that married people should know, and this is something that has happened to me multiple times, is, and maybe this has happened to you too, you have a great friendship with someone and they find someone special for them mm -hmm. and then they drop off the planet and you never hear from them again. It's always one-sided. Mm. That's one thing I don't like. Like sometimes friendships turn into one-sided friendships. I don't, I don't think it has to be that way it either. It doesn't, no. no and I but think it's something that they, maybe they need to be can. reminded of. Yes, I agree. Through their single friends. We're almost to a thousand steps and I think that's such a great note to end on because sure, there's romantic love and we kind of like put it at the top of the mm -hmm. loves to experience. Yeah. But I think no matter where you are in your single journey, whether you're wanting to eventually be married mm -hmm. or you're not, or you're happy or you're not, yes. I think learning to realize that there's so many different kinds of love and it's important. And you yeah. need to find people to love yeah. and who are gonna love you back, whether that's a spouse or friends. Because right. we can't go through life alone. Right, and just because you're single doesn't mean you're you don't have love. Yeah, like, exactly. It's still possible. Yeah. It's still possible. You just have to be a little bit more um, creative with it. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> so there's hope, Betty. There oh, is yeah. hope. There's plenty. There you have it. It's been a thousand steps on Way Nation, and uh, you owe me a coffee. Wait, no, I didn't. Yeah. I never, I never said that. I never said that. You owe that. me no, a coffee. No, 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 yeah, no, no. Yeah, you do. We need to talk about this because I'm not doing that.